Good to have you back once again here on the Tri-State Ford pregame. So, Jack and I want to talk more about where the Yankees are at right now in the wild card race and what's ahead for them. So let's take a look at that because yesterday was their last off day. They'll play 21 games in 20 days. They've got a doubleheader coming up against Baltimore. 11 of those games at home. 10 are road games. As you see, all of these games within the division and then the remaining opponent winning percentage a little above 50%. So that's not going to be easy, especially when you play in a division where all those teams still want to knock you off even to the last day. Right. It's a draining schedule, Bob, as you noted, 21 games in 20 days. And then you add this. It's against all AL East teams. Well, the Yankees are going to have to play to a different script than they've played to so far this year because they're 26 and 29 against AL East teams. They haven't exactly dominated against their division opponents. And one other way they're going to have to flip the script is their best 21-game stretch all season long, they've been 14 and 7. Well, they go 14-7. and seven. That's going to get them to 87 wins. I can't predict what those other teams are going to do, but I don't think 87 wins is going to get you one of those wild cards. Well, based on what we know historically, they're not going to make it easy. Joe Madden in the race, that's not in their DNA. They like to beat everybody. Baltimore, even if they win the division a week, week and a half from now, Buck Showalter's not going to send out a B or C team to face the Yankees. He wants to beat them. No doubt about it. Eight games left against the Orioles. The Yankees could have done themselves some favors by getting closer to the Orioles. Instead, the Orioles have their largest lead in the division since 1979. So they're looking to run away and hide, which they've already done. But you're right, Bob. Those are still going to be grueling games for the Yankees. All right, so let's take a look at some other numbers because within the wild card, the race to the finish, A's and Mariners, well, the A's will play opponents with a winning percentage a little below 500. Same for the Tigers and the Indians. Looks like it could be an easier road through the Central for maybe the Tigers and KC. You've always said that the Tigers might win that division, and you think that they will, and they'll outlast KC. Uh, but uh, the Western teams are going to make it tough, too, with the A's and Mariners. They are going to make it tough. Let's look at the Tigers and Kansas City first. I agree with what you said about me. I agree with what I've already said, that I think the Tigers can scale the Royals. They're playing them right now. They beat them yesterday. They win the next two games. They'll have the lead in the Central. Then when you look at the West, even though the Mariners' winning percentage of the teams that they have to play is high, Mixed into those games are games against the Blue Jays and games against the Astros. I look at the Seattle Mariners, and that's a team that I would keep an eye on. I think the Mariners are going to end up with one of these wild cards.